some of y'all in on a little secret here. But uh, Delmonico steak is essentially end cuts of ribeye steak. And it's a whole lot cheaper. So, Alright guys, if you remember last time I had talked about Delmonico steaks. These are the end pieces. These are uh, $7.99 a pound. That's on sale. Normally they're running about $8.99. But anyhow, what I'm doing with these, these are these are not like your pristine uh, ribeyes. They're the end cuts. And they sell these. These are smaller. And so uh, what I wanted to do is, so these, that's about the size of this right now. Okay. So that's that's about how they come out. So what I am doing is we 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 kind of invested in a meat slicer and uh so it didn't come with a serrated blade so I had to find a smaller blade and I so I could use a little bigger blade but for now this is this is cutting meat great. So anyhow, what I wanted to talk to you about is is basically what we're using these for for 20 bucks. Basically, well, this one's seven something. The other one's between five and six bucks a piece. I got four packs, which means I have one, two, there's eight chunks of meat. Eight pieces of meat like this, okay? There's like eight pieces of meat. All right, so, and, and what I'm doing with this is I am setting it on the smallest setting here, okay? I'm setting it on the smallest setting and I am slicing this. So, anyhow, okay. So, let's turn this thing on. Let's get this thing ready. So, okay. we're just cutting this fairly thin. And you can see how thin these pieces are. So what we've decided to do with these is make Philly cheesesteaks with. And if you look at that meat, how marbled that is, that is like perfect to give you that, that flavor and that juice that you're gonna want in a Philly cheesesteak. So what I've done I've got this now. This is this is this is almost frozen, but it's not frozen. So anytime you mess with any of these blades and you need to clear meat or something. Okay, so that's that's kind of what I wanted to show you. So again, for for around 20, 25 bucks, I've got I've got, got these and I threw them in the freezer. Once I got them home, I threw them in the freezer and then I pulled them back out once they got uh, pretty cold. Okay, so this is this is what we've got. And then if you, you get these chunks here, they're pretty thick, and we'll just set those aside. And what we'll do is take a sharp fillet knife, and we'll just, we're just going to trim those down. Because we don't want to put a bunch of little chunks in there and, and, and get it caught in the meat thing and, you know, make a mess. So that's what we do, and I will bring you back tomorrow when we cook these. And uh, I'm going to, this is freezer paper, um, so... Okay guys, we talked about getting the uh, Philly cheesesteaks. And so what we're doing right now, so we got these things all uh, shaved up. And again, we did it with the meat slicer. And you're looking here at some uh, just shaved 
what we did was we, we kind of chilled them. When I say chilled them, I mean throw them in the freezer so they're easier to cut. But what I'm doing is making a, making two packs here. I've already put one in the freezer. Um, and what I'm doing is laying enough meat out in each pack to do about four. I want to do, I want to put enough in here to do four Philly cheesesteaks. Okay. And like I said before, if we got some a little thick, I set those aside and I will take the, uh, the fillet knife and get those things thinned up. Uh, that's just meat pieces, bits and pieces that really didn't jive too good at the end of the cuts of the meat in the meat slicer. So you're going to have that. So that's, that's all right. I, I'm still glad to have this meat slicer. And I'm sure if you want to spend $2,000 on a meat slicer, you could probably have less of that. But I don't know that you get completely out of it. I think the professionals still have some remnants left over. Again, look at that. That is that is good fatty, fatty good juiciness. And what, what that's going to do is render this, this incredible meat that God created for us to eat. And, and man, when you put, a, put some just simple salt and pepper in this thing and cook it in butter, and then you add, saute your onions, you caramelize those, and, man, I'm telling you what, then you then you then you uh, take your buns and, and you toast them, and you get your get your mushrooms cooked in with your onions. You brown them. You uh, get those things caramelized, and man, you got some good eating. Now, this this should be plenty. And again, what I what I am using for these is I'm using these Johnsonville brats and sausage buns. They're, they're kind of right in between, uh, you know, your full-blown wide bun and, and a, ham, a hot dog bun. So I, I think these, these work perfect for, for what we want to do and the size of sandwiches that we actually want. So I, I'm going to say this is, this is going to be a nice bit for, for four, um, four sandwiches. So again... We're, we're just going to fold this over here. And so what I like to do with four of them is, is, is because that's going to be enough for our family. We have, we have two young adults, two teenagers in the house. So when you look at two teenagers in the house, and by the time they eat their snacks, Well, I just toss these right back over. All right. Well, anyhow, I didn't say I was the best Christmas gift wrapper, but uh, I don't do too bad. But what I want to do is, is is make these as flat as possible because when I go after them, they're froze. And if you watch these uh, restaurants make these, they've already got them froze. They're they're kind of froze. Like I don't know if you've seen those uh, steakums. At the store they used to sell. They probably still sell them, I believe. Um, that was a thing at one point. Nothing like this. But it was a thing. Uh, so again, let's try this again. I'll put that there. Bring this in over here. Um, I don't know where my tape is. I'm just going to bring this up this time. In here. And... Just, just a kind of a flat pancake deal. And then when you put them in the skillet, and these things are just going to like lay down, and you're going to be able to just flip them, and then pull them apart, and, and, and get them done, and then just do, do a medium rare, medium well, and uh, and they're ready to go on the sandwich with the onions and the, the you know, mushroom, is, if, if that's what you like, and, and, and basically lay out the cheese on there and you're good to go so anyhow just wanted to show you how we're doing this process and uh we'll be we'll be back with you tomorrow when we start cooking some of these so anyhow thanks for watching